Sagittarius, welcome to your new moon and Capricorn reading. And this lunar energy is hitting your second house of personal income, possessions, self-worth. So you can have a new beginning, a new fresh start in this area of your life, maybe a new stream of income, possibly. But if you've been wanting to get some changes with your um, personal resources, maybe buying something new, okay, or working towards uh, accomplishing some material achievement. So money, money, money is what I'm seeing here. And if we're not talking about money, we're talking about values, okay? But what is going to be adding value to you on an individual personal level over the long term? What has longevity? What has endurance? Let's see if we can get some advice. Retreat. A timely departure, letting go, withdrawal, reevaluation, retirement. Don't hesitate to walk away. 33. So some of you have a very important decision to make about letting go of something in order to get this new beginning. A bigger picture perspective may be required here. The grass is pretty green, but it could be greener elsewhere. I mean, y'all y'all are the lucky charms of the zodiac. Okay, that's what I call my Sagittarius star, lucky charm. She's my lucky charm, right? Y'all are Jupiter ruled. So let me say, you are the blessing. The blessing follows you, okay? But where do you want to go? You something you need to reevaluate your sense of direction and looking at the bigger picture and realizing that where you go, the blessing goes. Because you are the blessing, right? I don't know what this is about a location maybe, leaving a location or a, a decision. You might be more in a contemplative energy actually, considering what you're gonna walk away from and when, okay? So let's see what the cards have to say foundation you have seven of pentacles so again what are you going to invest in over the long term and this is another card of reevaluation. that's a, that's a synchronicity there look at the sevens you got a lot of options and maybe needing to strategize what it is that you need to become or to be loyal to and what you don't um so many possibilities it's two sevens at the base that is like really a lot of good fortune luck that's a very divine number telling me that there's so many directions you could go with this there's so many directions you could take these ideas but you really need to um, consider what it is that you want to return on investment on in your life or what can you get like what do you want to invest in what are you sewing into right now because that's really what you're going to be harvesting in the future you've got an opportunity to commit to something and it might have to do with a Taurus or a marriage it might have to do with your beliefs Maybe tradition might be at play, but you have some new opportunity here to make a commitment. Is it a financial commitment? Is it a commitment to increasing your income? I'm not sure yet. There does seem to be a blockage here with being maybe given just enough or uh, generosity or a give and take in a relationship. Are you being given just what you need and not really entirely what you want is the question here. This is maybe a time where you've got to look at the give and take in the relationship and maybe the sharing of resources. And, and is this something that you want to commit yourself to? I think there will be some good money news coming in and you're being advised to get a fresh new start. But I really feel the fresh new start is going to come off of you committing to something. Some of you, if you are young and you're wanting to get married or regardless of age, really, I mean, if you're looking for a relationship, you may be involved with somebody who is not marriage material. I'm just going to say if they're breadcrumbing you, you know, in the second house, we could be looking at, this is maybe hitting self-worth issues. See, there's a courtship thing going on right there. And I, this is not looking too pleasant. Okay. Like I'm not going to sugarcoat it, right? This ain't the channel. This ain't the cupcakes and rainbows channel, honey. Yeah. Y'all are the lucky charm. I'll tell you that all day long because y'all are ruled by Jupiter and that's the doggone truth. But the truth here also is this is not looking fabulous, right? So is someone married or, or is someone wanting to be married? And there's some kind of deep disappointment about this. What someone has committed themselves to or, or what they want to commit to, there's some kind of disappointment, but you have a new opportunity here, maybe to make a decision to let go and withdraw from something that over the long term, This might be a, a union that is not traditional, okay? This might be stressing someone out. There's something going on with the two-year time span, and there's been a lot of changes going on about a relationship and the give and take and a relationship. And again, it's maybe been a very um, 
difficult path that you have been on, a very intense, transformative path that you've been on. I think the more you go down it, the more you're going to come to the truth, the light at the end of the tunnel. But I do feel like there's something here that is, there's something that's been going on over the last two years that is maybe not kosher. Okay, let's just put it like that. There's been an exchange that's been going on between two people or two parties over the last two years. It's coming up as a blockage. Because again, there's there's something about tradition. I'm also going to say that, you know who else got this was Virgo. So you might want to look at a Virgo reading if Virgo is relevant. Somebody is... I don't know if they're drinking or they're taking some kind of medications or drugs or they're doing something in kind of an addictive, poor coping skill type of way. This is kind of wild here, all right? This is some kind of blockage of someone forcing an issue as a coping mechanism. And I don't know if it's something, it's, if somebody's been on a dark path, I'm just gonna say, it's been over the last two years. It's some deep, dark stuff that I don't think you're gonna share with just anybody. If it's not you, let me say this, if it's not you or your other person, if somebody around you is maybe drinking too much or something about their meds, I don't know. Okay, so I do see some good money news coming in, particularly for the main female. Um, if you are Sagittarius female, this is good money news coming in for you. If you're a Sagittarius male, this is the main female in your life. Very good money news. And it could also be a, just a small offer. Somebody coming in, communicating some um, new positive offer or opportunity, maybe a new job, or you just setting new goals. And I think that that's really the advice here is to try to get some fresh new goals, set some new goals, reach out for new opportunities, and maybe a new offer in your life. All right. It looks like the new opportunity and what's supporting you is money that comes in slowly the steady progress that you're making and some of you maybe not now but again i'm getting something about moving for work in good time over the long term so i'm going to tell you <laughs> this is confirmation i'm getting off of both of these cards some of you might be content where you're at right now but i don't think this is going to be the end game okay y'all are going to be going someplace else you're going to have work move you in a different direction over the long term like, you think you're going to be putting roots down in that location? I don't think so. But it's going to happen over time. And I think that right now you're having to reassess where do you really want to put down roots? Where do you want to settle down over the long term? What do you need to be committing yourself to over the long term? I don't know why those came out. Some of you are going to have to reinvent yourself and go through a death rebirth cycle. And it's taken me back to this with the butterflies the last two years. You're going to have to reinvent so that you can put some plans in motion. So you can get more security in your life. Some of you need to work on building a team that over time is going to move you in the direction you need to go over the long term. The advice is for you to clean the slate and get a brand new start. It might involve an Aries. And it might have to do with hard work. I'm getting a lot here about hard work. Some of y'all, you are hard workers. I'm telling you. Okay. But it's what you, what are you working on? Because I think you're being asked to reevaluate what you're committing your hard work to. Because some of you over the last two years, the give and take in a particular relationship, there's something dark, but cathartic about it. You have a lot of good stuff coming in, but where you are right now is not the end game. You need to get a bigger picture. And you need to put your hard work on getting that fresh new start with those bigger picture goals. Like what, what is adding value to you? Treasure Island, I'm telling you so much goodness here. Breathe. And that's about praying and meditating. That is twice we have a turtle. Sweet Jesus. Okay, just for you, I had to pull out the animal totems deck that I have. And... This turtle spirit is about slow and steady wins the race, okay? So I don't think you need to rush into making any decisions, but I do think you are being asked this time to clean the slate and start getting a bigger vision for where your life is headed, where you want it to go. You have so many options and possibilities, and you don't have to really make any big major moves right now, but you are being encouraged to clean the slate and commit to something that is a bigger picture vision for your life.
Be blessed.